it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to go over an example of how to use the employee total rewards compensation statements. And this is a great resource for an HR department to create statements to give the employee on the value of not just the compensation, but also all the different benefits that the company is paying for. So let me show you what the statement looks like after you fill everything out. You can save the statement as a PDF. It will be in Excel at first, and all you'll do is change the employee ID, and then everything else will update. Uh, so this is just a sample data. This is actually the basic version, is a one page with all this information. And I have another video that goes over the basic version and how the general idea of the template works. And then we also have the upgraded version, which has two pages and it has a little bit more information and a few more charts. And another main difference with the upgraded version is the ability to more easily calculate the health and welfare benefits. So the different medical and vision and dental plans based on what coverage levels are selected. So a lot of this information is, I didn't fill everything out for the example. So um, typically we would have total cash and then other benefits would typically be a lot higher than this. And then it will also show a breakdown of the different types of benefits. And this is a great way for people to to realize and see the total value that all the benefits are providing that the company is paying for. So the general idea of how all these different tabs and pages work is that you're gonna copy and paste your employee information into the specified columns and it will calculate different uh, amounts for vacation and pay time off based on what you have entered for their salary or hourly rate. So it's going to give a dollar value to the amount of time off you are giving. There's different tabs for benefits, stock, insurance, deferred comp, and then additional benefits is anything that you want to name and give a value to. And then, of course, the main statement page is where it all comes together. And you'll see, yeah, additional benefits is just whatever you want to name it. It'll pull in. And you would just change the employee ID number right here. And you'll see it updated to James information, which I don't have as much sample data entered for him. Uh, but once everything is filled out, it will pull in. So I'll change it back to Kelly. So what I wanted to go over today is the changes that were made to the updated version, which is affecting the health and welfare benefits section. So this new uh, tab medical is only in the up upgraded version. And here is where we can calculate different uh, medical, dental, and vision plans. Uh, so you would want to enter the name of the plans into the green cells and also the different levels. There's a spot for up to four levels. So you want this to match. You, if you have an employee list from your HRIS system or your benefits data where you already have the plan name assigned to the employee ID, you want to lay, make sure the labels match exactly uh, if you're pasting this information in. So for this example, I had used the name of the plan as all, and then we have plus spouse plus family. So I'm going to name the first medical plan all. Then we have you know, just the employee level plus spouse plus family. And then you would fill out the green cells. You'll see that all the other plans update um, the levels you put in the first section. When you first get the template, this the green cells would all be zeros. So I've already entered the sample data to make it easier, but let me zero, zero it out so you can see it would just come as all zero. Then as you add the total provider cost, for each plan and then the total cost that the com your company is paying for each employee on this plan. 
and then it will calculate what the employee is the employee's portion of that so so you're just entering the total cost and what the company's paying and then the file will calculate how much the employee's portion of that is because the statement will look at the employee's contribution and the company's contribution so it'll add up both of those and uh, from there, you can enter, t uh, you can change these up. There's three dental. You could change this to medical, and you could have three different medical plans for dental. I believe we called it main dental, and then we had the same. So you would just enter the uh, plan name. And again, I've entered the provider sample, provider cost, and employer cost, and then you can also do the same with vision. Down here I listed out common coverage levels if that helps, but I think you get the idea. So after that information is entered there, if we go to add more employees, so employee number four, you would paste in and put what plan they're on plus spouse, and then it would it would calculate in the gray cells employee and employer cost for that employee so we'll put and so once that's linked to the employee id as you update the statement to number four then it's pulling in that uh, medical information so i hope that helps explain the medical portion of the uh, total reward statement as you generate each statement you would save the Excel file, but you would also save a PDF just by going to File, Save As, Browse, and change the name, the employee name, and then just Save As Type, change it to PDF, and click Save. And then that's going to save it as a PDF, and that way all the formulas are removed, and the statement is not editable after that. Of course, you would want to change some of the uh, wording here. I've, I've just left the box. This is editable, the statement page. But if you're going to move around the different rows and things, it's probably easier to hide it, hide a row. Uh, but you want to add your own company wording, your organization name. There's a disclaimer at the bottom. And then you also want to maybe change the wording at the top. And you can find this template uh, that we went over by going to timesavingtemplates.com and go to the shop and HR spreadsheets and you should find it there, the employee total rewards statement. And there's also the original example video. I also wanted to point out, we had, do have some free resources. If you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources, we have some a section for human resources and compensation drop down and it's just a compensation metrics cheat sheet. Uh, so that's more about different compensation metrics for ranges and things like that. And then we also have free resources for uh, a small business and rental property management as well as some free videos on getting started with Excel. And until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets. Thanks.